back one and all to Spire of the Dragon. Last time we got to Nasty's World. And I noticed on the title screen I had 69% game completion, which I have to say is pretty nice. So yeah, this game isn't very long. Which I guess that's fine. Okay, that worked. How many dragons are here? Just two. Okay. Really? Really? Get that butterfly! Butterfly! <clears throat> and there's a dragon. Let's see. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. Little disappointed it wasn't Queen Latifah. But hey, what you gonna do? I mean, that would have just been ideal casting for that. Look at me like that, you're all thinking it. I like how there's there's so much bounce in Spyro's step. has a lot of charm to the game. No, why would I think that would work? That will, though. Before 
are going to take that other ramp, just to get this lined up. Before I go down there, let's go get my gems. Gems are even here. 400, okay. I don't really care for 100%, like I've said a few times before. It's just not what I'm going for. I would like to free all the dragons, but I'm ultimately just worried about playing the game and having fun. And I'm having that for the most part. I didn't like treetops that much. Oh, it worked. Chain reaction. What's up, dragon? Tomas. Wait, did not already free you? Wow, I never thought I'd be rescued. Especially by such a little dragon. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. <laughs> All dragons found. That I'm gonna hold off before starting Trails of Cold Steel 2 until I finish Fire Emblem. I feel like that'd be the best decision. Just I'm not having two long RPGs at the same time. Twilight Harbor, okay.
This definitely seems very linear. Because it is. This is a very linear level with only two dragons. Ah! Really? I did not see the gap. For rescuing me. didn't go. <clears throat> That's just weird. It's one of the, it's, I know why it does that. The frame didn't, I was in another frame I tried to do that, like that right there. The flames didn't fully adapt because I was in the middle of another frame of animation. It's annoying. Really? Okay. A drawbridge? Neat. Again, didn't I already rescue you? Be on the lookout for North Commando, Spiral. Yeah, I did. They better be on the lookout for me. Fair point. A lot of double rescue dragons. That's weird. Oh, a supercharged. Oh, and I opened a ramp. Okay, neat. And I'm guessing that's how I get that other chest there back there unlocked. Yeah, definitely. But I wonder if I have to lower the gate or if I can just keep it open. I don't see why I couldn't just keep it up. Let's go for it. Okay, 
Okay, that was at the same time. That's still annoying, though. I feel like my frame should override his, but, you know, whatever. Still alive. Why didn't the fire breath go? I can do that in the air. I hit the damn trigger, but the fire breath didn't engage for some reason. It's weird. Oh, and you just take me to anywhere else. Okay, I'll just stay here. All oh, the gems. How come this one didn't open? Is it going to open after I do this? Maybe. Confronting Nasty Nork. Any day now, the game will load. There it goes. Business with you, it seems. You're not. Oh, there's an egg piece here. What am I supposed to do with this? Do I have to shoot these back at him? Oh, uh, that didn't work. No, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I see a path.
gotcha. Big bad nasty Nord just runs like a bitch. Come on, man, don't be like that. Chase the guy down. Whoa, 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 whoa. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to do in this boss fight. Whoa, damn it! <sighs> Seriously, I gotta go chase the little critters again? No checkpoints. I don't like that. That's just kind of annoying. I seriously gotta chase him down? Whoa, okay, no, let's not make that mistake again. What am I doing here? What am I doing? Do I just, is this literally the whole boss fight? Uh, I'm gonna look this up real quick, because this doesn't feel right. He's moving too fast for me to catch up with him.
This doesn't feel right. Okay. I am literally chasing him around, and I gotta burn him when he gets up to his little platform. But I gotta be quick enough to do that. That's not much of a boss fight. You gotta be honest. I expected a little more from the big, bad, nasty Nor. That's a little disappointing. No! Damn it! And there's no shortcut. There's no checkpoint. And that bothers me. Speed. Okay, now that I got the key, all you do is chase him, and that's... I'm gonna be honest, not much of a fight. That's all you do. feels like he's running away before I can actually get a chance to blame him.
No. Oh, what? 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 Oh my God! What the hell's going on? Excuse me. The platform's. Co That's just not even fair. That is not even fair. That's not even fair. Going bugged. It threw me off. What the hell is that? By the time it updated, the other platform was just gone. It's just not fair. And when I get a game over, why doesn't it just put me back in the place where I was to begin with? Why take me back to the hub? That's just a waste of time. Invincible during the cutscene. If I wasn't, that'd be a really dirtbag thing to do. Again, why does it just why does the flame attack just not go off sometimes? It's just annoying. Again, thank you for invincibility during cutscenes, because that would be super friggin' cheap if that wasn't the case. I mean, really. Okay. boss fight. This is a terrible boss fight. This is dumb. Who thought this was a good idea? Have the boss run away from you like a little coward. This is a boring boss fight. Again, there. Why does the friggin' flame attack not happen? I hit the goddamn trigger.
Oh, come on! What the hell? I burned him! Uh, the fire hit him! What was that? That's crap! The fire hit him! I shot fire at him! But it didn't work! What the hell is this? Go. And now remember this part, because this part's kind of crap. Oh my god. And what's this? What is that? What is that? What the hell? How am I supposed to get to this? How am I supposed to react to this? This is bullshit! Hey, here's an idea. Let's have a boss fight where he runs away from you like a coward instead of fighting you head on like every other one did. This is how you design a pretty bad boss. Why does nobody talk about how bad this boss is? Because it's a pretty bad boss. It's a pretty poorly designed boss fight. Again, my flames hit him and yet feel no damage. That's kind of crap. That? It's like something was pushing me off the platform! What the hell?
game bugged or something? Is this boss fight impossible to complete on PS4? God! Perspective! Jesus! Finally make the damn jump! Again, why are you just running away like a wuss? Is he seriously afraid of a little purple dragon? Newark. <laughs> God, that was annoying. That's just a bad boss fight. Let's be very clear. <laughs> Sorry I took so long. Almost forgot about you guys. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork is toast. So, now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Uh, well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to find. What will you do next? Oh my god, Bob is the announcer. Toys for Bob. I'd say the sky's the limit. I love that little detail. That's actually funny. Bob was the, I guess, interviewer, and the company that made this is Toys for Bob. I like that detail. So, Spy the Dragon. In the Reignited Trilogy. Pretty fun, pretty good. It feels a lot like a Saturday morning cartoon, but it's got some questionable design issues, namely that boss fight. I did not like the boss fight. I did not like the fight with Nasty Noir, if you couldn't tell. But only getting frustrated with the game a couple of times throughout the whole thing, I'd say that's better than I usually get with games, <laughs> let's be honest. Oh, I gotta get better about that. 
But ultimately, I did like this game. It was fun. It was charming. Although I do question, why weren't the other dragons I've been freeing doing anything to help? I'm not gonna bother going for clear 100%. It just doesn't feel worth it. But yeah, this was a good game. Office Pets. Allie the Fighting Kitten. Bob. Bur Always room for a Bob. Okay, I did like this game. Hey look, there's a Jonathan in the audio department. I like that name. Could be had anything to do with the fact that that's my name. <laughs> Randy Condon, okay. I liked it. Good voice acting, great visuals. It feels like a Saturday morning cartoon. It is undeniably bright and charming. There's just so much bounce and pep as Spyro strides around. It's just great. If you haven't picked this game up already, I recommend you do. The, like I said, prior to a couple of design quest, questionable design choices, this is a pretty good game. Even if the boss fight kind of sucks. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I, I really don't. I don't have pretty anything else to say on this. This was Spyro the Dragon. I've got Spyro 2 and 3 to still play through. I also have Crash 2 and 3, as well as I need to redo Crash 1, because the initial Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot isn't good, to be honest. A lot of screaming, a lot of anger. I didn't like the first Crash Bandicoot. I didn't like it at all. In slightest, didn't like it at all. But I did like this game. So that's all I got to say. Let the credits roll.
Okay, uh, I didn't actually mean to skip the credits, but, uh, The Last Dragon. Magnus. <laughs> I'm almost certain Nasty's I already freaked ancient you. history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will only open if you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Yeah, I don't think so. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Spyro the Reignited as I play Spyro 2. But until then, I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off.